YouTube family, how's it going? What's what's going on, guys? Um, it, it's been a little bit. I got a quick review for you guys today. I was at the meat market and I saw something that really caught my eye. I had to try it out and I just thought some of y'all would be interested in this as well. I got some Wagyu beef jerky from Snake River Farms, right? I'm a beef jerky guy. I'm a beef jerky guy. Listen, I go on a road trip I want a little dried meat on my right hand, maybe an Arizona iced tea in my left hand. I'm ready to go. This is a perfect little road snack. And when I saw there was some Wagyu beef jerky, I thought, hey, that's right up my alley. Let's give it a shot, right? This little bag here is uh, two and a half ounces of jerky. It's $11, so it's pricey. 11 bucks is a lot of money for two and a half ounces of meat. But we're going to see if it's worth it, right? So this comes from Snake River Farms, which is out of... Idaho in the United States of America for our international folks out there. Uh, so let's, let's let's read a little bit about it real quick. So Snake River Farms is a premium American Wagyu beef brand from Agri Beef, a family owned company with over 50 years of experience in the beef industry. Managing the production process from start to finish, our herd has developed into one of the most highly regarded groups of Wagyu cross cattle in the world. This cross results in the perfect balance between the famous Wagyu buttery marbling and the robust beef flavor that will elevate your jerky to a new level. Okay. That sounds good. You see the black on black? You see I'm matching for the occasion? I do this for y'all. Let's get it open. Enough with the chit chat. <clears throat> Let's see here. Open this guy up. Here's a piece. Obviously very intense meaty smell. This is dried out meat. Once that water leaves the meat, everything else intensifies. Um, you know, for two and a half ounces of meat, this is like almost 30 grams of protein in this little package here total. So that's pretty, uh, that's pretty impressive. Some good little sizes. They're all, it's all pretty consistently sized. But hey, dim some poppy, enough talking. Let's get into this thing. All right. Okay. It's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive, you know, for beef jerky. We already know going into it, it's going to be tough. It's going to be chewy. Your jaw is going to get a good workout. But this is like, this is the softest beef jerky I've ever had, you know. And that makes sense. With this Wagyu cattle, the intramuscular fat on that, on the meat from this cattle, there's more marbling in it. You know, when you're scrolling through Instagram and you see a, a, a piece of Wagyu beef, like a ribeye, and there's so much more fat on it than what you'll usually see at the grocery store, it makes sense that this is going to be much more tender, much softer, and it really just kind of hydrates into, in, in your mouth, you know? Wow. Okay. Another thing I'm noticing here is that towards the end, when it's almost all chewed up, it really starts to kind of melt. That that fat still comes through. And the beef flavor is very intense. I mean, we'll obviously dim some poppy. You know, the water has left the beef. It's going to be tasting more intense. But no, this is even a step further with this beef. This is a really high quality piece of cow right here. It's a... Uh, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just the beef flavor is intensified. It's almost like chewing in, chewing into like a little beef broth cube. It's really good. Mm. Let me go over the ingredients real quick for you guys. American Wagyu beef, pineapple juice concentrate. Why pineapple juice? Well, in pineapples, there's an enzyme called bromelain. I hope I'm saying it right. If I remember correctly, there's an enzyme called bromelain. And that enzyme is used in a lot of marinades uh, for meat because it breaks down the proteins. It breaks down those those muscle fibers and it makes um, meat really tender. Uh, 
water, sea salt, cultured celery, celery powder, black pepper, and dried garlic. I'm definitely tasting all of it pretty evenly, the garlic the most and the black pepper. Um, really good, really worth the try. Would I buy this all the time? 11 bucks for a little package of beef jerky. It's, it's a little pricey for me. It's definitely worth the try. It was cool. It was cool. If I'm going on a road trip, am I reaching for this? Probably not. If I hit the lotto and I go on a road trip, am I reaching for this? Every time. Every time. So yeah, that's a quick review for you guys. Snake River Farms. I know I've worked with some of their product before in the past. If you've ever worked in like a steakhouse or something, you might have purchased some, some steaks from Snake River Farms. They got good stuff. Here's the packaging. Again, from Idaho in the good old US of A. Really good quality stuff here. It tastes really great. Uh, it's a good little snack for some some uh, a good amount of protein, and I highly recommend it. Dim sum poppy, out. Peace.